Alrighty guys, so I've been getting a lot of complaints about my video of iOS 5 Beta 3 Assessive Touch and all these hidden features and stuff. So I decided to make another video about it. I will we'll keep the other one up just for fun. See how many video or likes and dislikes I got. I think I got 8 dislikes already. So yeah, let's just get into it. First thing I'm going to talk about is Assessive Touch. Um, as you see, it is a little icon up there in the top uh, right corner. It's a little circle with a box around it. Uh, this does cover the icon, which really makes me mad. So if I ever want to click like YouTube or stuff, I have to actually move this icon and click it. And then my Messages app is uh, covered up too, so then i got to move it back and all that. So I hope they fix that so it's like transparent or something or... I don't know. And then, so yeah, let's just get into the actual interface of it. So like I said before, you can move it around the screen to any corner you want. Uh, it does have to be a corner. Uh, it can't be like in the top or like in the center right there. Or You can't even turn it into an app. I wish I, I wish they could like, do that so it's an app. So you click the app and then it opens a sense of touch menu up. So yeah. Uh, when you click on it, you'll be prompted with this screen that says Gestures Favorites uh, Device and Home. If I click uh, Gestures, it'll come up with gestures like this. Move it around and stuff. Um, all that kind of stuff. And then if you click right there, it'll go back. Favorites. These are stuff like Pinch, Swipe, and then if you make your own, you can make your own uh, gestures if you want. Um, and then what you got is, uh, device, if you click device, it'll say volume up, lock screen, volume down, shake, rotate screen. Um, so volume up, I don't know if you can see that but in the background, it'll turn the volume up, turn it down, lock screen, and turn it back on. So yeah, and then home. It actually will go home. It's a virtual home screen. So say I'm in an app. I'm too lazy to move my finger 0.3 inches. So I click here and then I click home. And then it'll take me home. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a really buggy and not very... Thing. Not, it's not very... It's I would not use this on a daily basis. I'd use it probably once a week. Not the greatest thing. I hope Apple does a little more customizations to it and stuff. Um... Next thing is going to be in the settings. Uh, if you go to general, um, scroll all down. Let me find it. I don't know if I can find it or not. Oh, um, uh, new thing is if you go. I remember back in the previous uh, iOS's, if you were downloading an app, you couldn't delete the app when it was downloading. So say you wanted to download an app, but then you turned out you don't want to. Uh, you couldn't delete it. You had to wait for it to download, and then you could delete it. So, I'm just going to install an app here. Hold on, let me type the password in. Okay, and then see there, it'll say that. Okay, I'm downloading Songify. Check it out in the App Store. It's actually a really cool app. Um, So, it says waiting. Say I don't want it. Just put that, and then you can just delete it. Okay. Easy as that. It's done. No, it's not going to load anymore. So that's a really cool feature that I really like. Um, Next thing is performance. It does seem to be a lot faster than the previous betas, and it also seems to be faster than the previous iOS's. Um, this is a very cool th uh, thing that Apple has designed. I don't know why it's doing this. I guess it takes little, little to no memory. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. It's really fast. Uh... Uh, wallpapers are up so you don't have to worry about not having your wallpapers. There is still no icon for the wallpapers, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. They'll fix that. Um, under location services, they do make a new layout for location services. If you look, uh, there are individual things, and then you can go to system services. Um, and there's like cell network search, diagnosis and usage, local based iads, setting, time zone, and tra uh, traffic, and then status bar icon. Status bar icon is that little icon up there with the blue arrow. As you see, it is not there. Then if I click it, still not there because I don't have anything running. Uh, location services. Um, so yeah, there's that. I don't know if there's any more. Let me just check real quick. Um... All-out performance is a lot better. There's it's a lot faster, and it's just 
all better and all that. Uh, I, I believe iCloud is almost working. Uh, you do need a 64-bit or a 32-bit and uh, like Windows Vista or earlier. Um, Reminders app has changed. The icon has changed. And yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Please like. I'll come out with more hacks, tutorials, and other things. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.